This briefing is moved from the usual arena to the unit parade ground to allow for a better view of seized illicit substances and the suspects. The arresting officers say they now rely more on human intelligence as the illicit substances moving from Lagos to Kano are concealed with electrical cables at the point of interception. He told us they carry a cable with uh, some um, pipe, but since, because we believe our informant, so we pack it and we search it without bringing it to the office. So from there, we're able to intercept, they saw 3,427 pieces of ca cannabis. Speaking on the month under review, the acting controller explains that the unit generated over 400 million naira revenue through the issuance of demand notices. Our strategic intervention also achieved recovery of revenue through the issuance of demand notices to complete underpaid duties into the federal government coffers that were being evaded by some importers and their agents. We made 580 seizures with a duty paid value of 4 billion 22 million 960,075 naira. We also arrested 60 suspects and recovered a total of 400 million 959,515 naira 66 copper as revenue through the issuance of demand notices. Moving over to the government warehouse where it stockpiles bags of rice, Mr. Ejibunu adds that the unit is deploying more intelligence personnel across the policed land and maritime borders. When you talk of smuggling, most of these things you are seeing, they don't come in through the approved routes. And you know in Nigeria today, we have a lot of unapproved routes. And that is what made our borders so porous. As per the intelligence, yes, we are going to send all our uh, intelligence officers through all the nooks and crannies, including the Lagos Creeks. Lagos Creeks now is an area that maybe hitherto has not been fully policed, but we are going to go there because for quite some time now, we've been having results from there. No doubt, it's been a busy half year for the unit. However, investigations should be concluded soon for these suspects to have their day in court.